Welcome to my morning report chart analysis video. It's on Friday, 19th of January, with me, Richard Perry, market analyst at Hantech Markets. This dollar rally has reversed, um, and the the pressure has come on on the back of uh, well, it the, the the sort of prospects of a U.S. government shutdown really seems to be impacting the market, um, and we're seeing again dollar weakness across the board, across all the majors, um, all the major pairs. The dollar is weaker. We're also seeing gold higher as well. Equity markets interestingly are bouncing in Europe today. That comes despite the fact that the S&P 500 clo closed slightly lower yesterday, 0.2% on the back of this uh, US government shutdown fears. But um, certainly the Europeans have sort of taken the ball and um, yeah, they've gone higher. Um, the DAX outperforming again, is certainly breaking out to um, new January highs and um, certainly looks on course for potentially if it continues um, to test the all-time highs um, and uh, yeah strong moves on that but this this uh, dollar is back under pressure that uh, bullish key one day reversal that we saw on Wednesday um, on the dollar is being reversed it hasn't yet um, broken um, but it certainly looks on the brink of doing so this is odd in my opinion this is odd because what we are seeing are treasury yields pulling strongly higher that 10-year yield now actually today has actually broken to 2642 which was above the, that 2641 which was that Q4 2016 or the or the December 2016 high in the wake of Trump's election victory and that is the highest since 2014 so uh, what we are seeing is uh, treasury yields pulling higher but uh, the dollar not really responding. The dollar is certainly being um, held back. But it's interesting. If you look at the c comparison. Um, this is a, a good chart that I usually follow. So uh, this is the Bund yield under uh, Treasuries, and um, when that spread widens, the dollar tends to uh, strengthen. But uh, that's not the case at the moment. Also, look at this. This chart here, dollar yen versus the U.S. ten-year yield, doesn't tend to um, move out of lockstep for too long. But look at the look at the fact that um, we're seeing the ten-year yield rising, but the U.S. dollar is not responding. So is this um, suggesting that there could be a turnaround still in play, perhaps, but uh, it's not responding yet? So. Um, some uh, interesting moves that we are seeing on markets in front of the weekend. However, um, ed, uh, data points for today. Um, we've had the UK retail sales and it missed expectations. It quite a big miss as well. Look at that. X Fuel, minus 1.6% for December. Expected to be minus 0.8%, but uh, the look at the year on year. Back down at 1.4%, although that was a but only slightly lower than last month. It was expected to be up to 3%. So uh, that's a disappointing bit of data there for the UK. Uh, into the afternoon, we've got the US um, Michigan sentiment, University of Michigan sentiment, 97 um, up from 95 spot 9 last month uh, as the revised total there. Uh, so that's this afternoon. So a um, bit of data for this afternoon, but yeah, much in front of that, the dollar remains under pressure. Now my chart today is silver. Now what we had seen recently is that uh, these markets just rolling over. Silver was one of them, failing at that 1730 level, coming back towards the test of 1680. Coming back towards the test of that 1680 um, sort of old support, which again happened in, in early Jan. And it sort of is the prospect of a top pattern, but it certainly at the moment um, is ranging. Um, but these momentum indicators with this sort of recovery that we've seen today have sort of ticked higher again. But is this going to turn out to be a bit of a top pattern or is it just a consolidation range within a continued recovery? We're unsure at the moment, but these momentum indicators certainly look as though it's sort of rolled over for now. But um, It'll be interesting to see if this uh, market can sort of break this little mini downtrend that it's got developing here. And um, the hourly chart is already starting to break that downtrend. But um, interesting that um, momentum indicators just beginning to sort of show a little bit more improvement. But again, if the MACD lines roll over under neutral, and the RSI sort of drops back from 60 area then that could be a suggestion that um, this is another rally that could get sold into. But silver at the moment, is certainly positive on the day, about 0.9% higher, but um, this is uncertain yet as to what, how this sort of consolidation phase is going to play out, whether it tops out, but uh, the momentum indicators having rolled over do look a little bit more corrective, don't they? That uh, supports at 1686 initially for that January low. 
1680 being that uh, old pivot as well. No, it doesn't go that back. Or yeah, oh yeah, there you go. March 2017. So 1680 is a is a level that has been a pivot um, on uh, in historically on the silver price. So watch out for that. But um, a top out would um, imply around about sort of 50 cents or so of downside. So that would be 1630, and that would be back towards this low here again of October. So I wish you good luck in your trading today, and I will speak to you later.